Hello and welcome to Scrapping on the Fly. My name is Kristen and I'm here with Mixed Media Mayhem and I combined it with Follow Sketch February, a hop started by Sandy with Scrapping Reflections. And so here is the sketch and it is just two pictures with some little um, background. It is by Laura Rumble, I believe. And I here is mixed media mayhem, and they have a recipe this week or this month, and so a messy background. So I've got some inks, stamping. I have my little stitching stamp, and no patterned paper. So I pulled a twelve by twelve solid and a bunch of scraps in rainbow colors, and so obviously I'm doing a little rainbow crazy um, layout. And I have my Scrapping Reflections Stencil of the Month. So I figured I would use that with some of these inks um, and make my wild background. And then I have a couple of um, uh, thickers and I'm pretty sure I know what I'm going to title this layout. Although I was pretty tempted to do this Here Comes Fun as well. But I, I stuck with the wild child. Spoiler alert. And then I have these that I am attempting to use up. They're just different and odd colors. So I do get a few of those used. So that makes me happy. Okay, here's my pictures. I promise I'll explain in a minute. <laughs> when, <laughs> when we get into the layout. But <clears throat> these are the pictures I'm documenting. So I have my papers. My embellishments. My inks for mis mixed media. I have my recipe. I have my picture and my sketch, so let's see how this goes. Okay, I love this. It's such a fun um, stencil. It is probably meant more for spraying, and I learned that from my darling friend, JQ Crafty, because she was using hers for, I think, Craft IQ or something the other day, and said that this would be better for spraying because the little dip downs, you know, move. And so I just did it very carefully. However, the whole point of this, oddly enough, you all, <laughs> is that it was supposed to be a messy inking background. So I thought, well, I'll use this because it's going to be, you know, not a very good stencil pull since I'm using the daubers and it moves around and it blends. Plus, I'm doing the colors really close together. So I intentionally do red, orange, and yellow in one row, and then I do green, blue, and purple in two rows. Um, one, because uh, green, and purple, and then blue are my top three favorite colors, and well, that's really all that matters. <laughs> uh, plus, um, my embellishments uh, are more suited to that. Now, did I know that going in? Nope. I just got lucky. Um, when it comes to scrapbooking, sometimes I am really lucky because I will pull something out. Like I, cre I decided what I was going to do with this. Look at that. Now look at that. I'm supposed to be messy. Now the only messy is like the green is in that yellow and there's a couple little dots here and there. And I wasn't going to go over all the way that far to the right, but you know, I did. Oh, bless. Cause you know, you can see right there in the sketch that it's only like eight inches in the middle towards the left, but no, no, no. And I didn't get a big old mess and a big, you know, um, extra stuff underneath of my stencil. Um, so there's not much mess going on there. Well, don't you worry. I'm real good at making a mess. Uh, so I did my, um, matting in rainbow colors. So I did red on one, then orange on the other, yellow on the one, and, um, green on the other so I just alternated with those four colors and then I did a blue strip and a purple strip all scraps makes me so happy to get scraps out and what I don't fit use right here I'm going to use some of for um, the circle-y bits that are on this layout and then I throw some of it away and I literally put the green which is you'll see a big piece or you already saw and I put a piece of yellow away and I actually had two pieces of yellow instead of one. So that makes me happy that I got rid of and used up some more of my scraps. So I'm using this um, stamp. I love this stamp and it has saved me so many times. Um, it is stitching and the set has like six or seven different stitching um, techniques. 
and I use it all the time because I don't stitch very often. Um, so I love that. This one I've never used before, so this is a first. And I'm not going to make you watch me do the whole thing. Mine is not as big and wide as theirs because I didn't want it to be. One, probably because I didn't want to um, figure out how to lay it out just so to where it was doubled up. But not a full, you know, because it's like a six inch stamp or something or a five and a half inch stamp. And I didn't want it to be that far over. So anyway, I like the way it turned out and you see just enough of that stamping. And so now I took a circle punch from Creative Memories. And with the same papers that I used to map my pictures, I made a circle out of each of the colors and just tucked them in different places. And now I'm going to start embellishing. Um, <clears throat> I start with the title at the bottom because I knew it was down there. Now in the sketch, of course, it's huge. But I wanted to go with this wild child. I do make it a longer title and bring in some other things from that same embellishment kit or that same thicker set um, right here with this my girl and that and sign so it officially the title is my girl and wild child um yes so while i'm adding embellishments let me give you a little information <laughs> first of all my child is on drugs in this picture so please <laughs> please don't judge her <laughs> Um, in 2016, when these pictures were taken, I don't know if I've told the story before or not. My daughter had a, was on the track team and she was running in a, just for practice. And all of a sudden she had a odd and sharp pain in her knee and the feeling from her knee right below her kneecap down to the tip of her toes and her right leg went away she had no feeling at all like complete paralysis she had no clue what was going on it was an extremely scary time for her and for us um you know we took her to the hospital and they couldn't figure out what was wrong we went through this weird stage it took two and a half or three days for the feeling to come back completely in her foot and her leg i mean like completely she was weak for a few days after that stayed on crutches and then nothing after that it was nothing and so then she went on a trip um, about six, five or six, maybe four weeks later. And while she was on her trip to West Virginia, or to Virginia, I think, um, it happened again. So my husband and I drove through a uh, almost tornado um, and, and my son and picked her up and I took her, well, I stayed, we all took her to the hospital and we were in the hospital for four days, um, having every test run, having all the things. Uh, okay, wait, this right here, I made a mess. The stickles came out in like massive form. So I just took a piece of scrap paper and scooted it around until it fit. I got lucky. Um, anyway, so after she tried to get an MRI multiple times and her body was hurting so much from trying to lay straight and lay flat and lay still, they ended up giving her medication so that she could be more relaxed while taking, um, getting the MRI done. And this is her while the medication is kicking in and she's like acting an absolute fool. And of course I'm documenting it because that's what moms do. So anyway, I just talked and told you that story through the entire last part. I used stickles to embellish each of those little um, lines and I splattered black soot um, on the background, which is also messy because it totally went places I didn't want it to. <laughs> so I accomplished my goal for uh, Mixed Media Mayhem and I love how this turned out. See that black at the top? Didn't want that. Um, that is just a hot mess, but look at that girl. It's very fitting for this pictures, um, to have a big mess and a hot, you know, whatever. So anyway, I hope you all will go check out all the people below in the link for Mixed Media Mayhem, as well as Scrapping Reflections on Facebook and all of the people who are creating based on these sketches. And I hope you'll come back and see me again tomorrow. Have a great day and happy scrapping.